bringing you another edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, and we'll be hearing from T.A. along the sideline all game long. And it's slammed in by Williams. Unselfish play by Tatum, getting it to a shooter in rhythm instead of chasing his own shot. approach for the Clippers. Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets Robert going off in assists. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. And also, they're jumping on a lot of turnovers, making sure they turn them into points at the other end. Out to the right wing. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Pass to George. Drops in the tray on the fast break. George has got 14 points. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. They've been excellent so far. Coming in with a well-balanced attack and it's helped them build an early lead they just need to stay aggressive here's george jason tatum picking up that last basket on the wing jackson a shot's good on the assist by george those are starting to add up guys up their last five baskets three have been triple Horford. Bank shot, no good. Now, here is George. He's got 16. Jackson has the open look. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. If you love analytics, 
This is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. You can pile up points in a hurry. Knocks down the three ball. Their third three-pointer in a row. And Williams, here we go. If you know that seven bottom wingspan, the great hops, that's been there. But Williams' ability to put the ball on the floor and create for himself, that's, that's something new. Outside Jackson, and it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. We've got 28 seconds left in the first. Throws it up high, and the dunk by Zubas. Well, Paul knows the defense is locked in on him, so he takes advantage and finds the open man. Pass to Williams, stolen by Jackson. George with the ball. Takes a three. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers sitting on a 21-point lead to end the quarter. Margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. Guys, we've seen a confident-looking Clippers team out there. Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And you can't... Los Angeles Clippers. And the Bulls start out with the ball. And he drops in the layup off the glass. This is how you begin a game. Set the tone right from the jump. Uh, take a nice deep breath. You score on that first possession. Gets the game started the right way. Now here's George. There's the drive. Blocked. Here's Rose. Pass to Brewer. Puts up a three. three and that's good. His first bucket of the game. That's still something that Noah does very well. Seeing the floor, keeping his head up. The play with your head on a swivel. Noah does that. Out to Leonard. The three ball. He drops it from range. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early by Jackson. Kicks it to George. 4-3. Hits the trifecta. Well, that's Paul George's game. Most accurate when somebody's feeding him and he's got his feet set. And the bucket is good. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Reggie Jackson. Pass to Noah. Again, the Bulls score. Now they can't miss. Four for four. And warming up the burn. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. George with the block. Not many guys have the two-way ability of a Paul George. Just as dangerous defensively as he can be offensively. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Leonard gets the bucket. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Here's Rose. Another shot. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And it's stolen by Rhodes. Here's Brewer. And again, Chicago, no good. On offense, here are the Clippers. They're on a 13-4 run. Yeah, you could be as physical as you want with Kawhi Leonard. He stays with it and is unshaken. Here's Rose. Pass to Brewer. Takes the three. And Rose is good for three. Rose has got seven. The Clippers in the lead. A minute 53 left in the first quarter here. Now here's Leonard. 
Charity stripe shot. And there's another one for the Clippers. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter. Attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Here's Boozer. Foul Clippers. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Clippers. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight real plays in transition. And maybe a signal as well of how aggressive their defense has been tonight is to look at how many points they have directly off of a turnover. Good activity there. To the paint. Out to Leonard. Here's George. Pass to Jackson. Back to Leonard. Five on the clock. Fifty-eight seconds left in the opening quarter. And the Clippers again with a bucket. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Shooting for Chicago. And the free throw, no good. Noah can still be a leader out there, a high-energy guy who demands the best out of his teammates. Oh, got a piece of it. Here's Rose. Got it. Makes him four for six on the floor. I just love his approach coming into tonight. Focused and aggressive. Pass to Leonard. And the defense gets bailed out by the miss. He usually converts that. Rose outside. Boom! He jams it straight down. Oh, another lead change. Six total in the first half. And this is the battle we were hoping to see. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll be Chicago ball. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turnover. Derrick Rose has been leading the charge for the Bulls. Hunting for opportunities. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? Well, there's no reason to take risky shots when you can collect points at the rim. Yeah, that worked wonders for them in the quarter. We'll see what kind of adjustments get made. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another. And the threads are keeping them close. This is his first highly competitive. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Both shots good from the strike. Chicago trailing here. Rose right side. Driving inside. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Pass to Brewer. Back to Rose. And give him another one. He's 6 of 8 and looking solid. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Chicago. Their frenetic defense has been impressive. Putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over as well. Well, the other part is I think they got inside the head of the opponent with those early blocked shots. They played some tremendous low post defense. Oh, man, this has been an absolute battle in the first half. Each team trying to establish itself. The lead just keeps going back and forth. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter.
Oh, some serious power to finish that one off. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Pass to Brewer. Oh, George with a steal. Leonard on the wing. He's got 14. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Well, when you get into a system, your first system in the league where you share the ball, Kawhi Leonard keeping his head up and finding the open man. Rose. Noah, no good. And he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. That's the shot you hope for right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. I just love the aggressive finish. I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Jackson outside. Offline with a three. Chicago leading. Rose left side. Pass to Gibson. Back to Rose. Two minutes remain in the first half. Here's Two Gibson. Minutes. Five to shoot. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. An excellent finisher who loves to bring the intensity. Rose will challenge anybody at the rim. It's both from the stripe. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Jackson can't get it to go. Rose with it. Jackson in his pocket. And it's Rose penetrating. Good. He's taken 13 shots. He's drained 10 of them. Fantastic production. Pass to Zubac. George outside. Driving in. Oh, and makes it with a kiss. George has got five points. George is not settling for low percentage plays right now. He's putting the defense oh, in a really good. tough position. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. George outside. There's 57 seconds left in the first half of this one. Takes a three. Hits a three-pointer. Give him eight points now. Well, the game's four quarters, and after a tough first half, he's found his rhythm in the second. The Clippers trail. Pass to Jackson. Leonard on the wing. Leonard on the wing. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first person. He's one of the most uniquely built players in the NBA, and Kawhi Leonard draws contact often. I'm not sure he feels it, but he gets it. Hope loose. It's stolen by Leonard. That ties the game. There are only two players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Watson. Shot clock at five. Oh, deflected. And stolen by Covington. Rips down the breakaway slam. Good, fast-paced play there. It's much easier to find a shot. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Clippers ahead. Up two. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Shakes him. Pass to Hartenstein. And it's Batum penetrating. Just five on the clock. Back to man. From deep. And it's Thomas with the rebound. 
Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he should, despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. The Clippers in the lead. And that one's good. Covington. A long, strong forward. Covington shows the ability to finish inside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Man, the defender really went after him. Shooting for Chicago. Shooting two. He does not get the second one. It's a close game here in L.A. For three, Powell sinks it from distance. Norman Powell. Powell's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And clearly, he needs no time to warm up. Pass to Watson. And here's Smith. Here's Scalabrini, covered by Covington. Here's Watson. From the top of the key, rebound by the Clippers. Hartenstein in the post. Banked it in off the glass. And now an eight-point Clipper lead. They're locked in and focused on making each possession a success. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Robert Cunningham. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. The first free throw is good. For Chicago, Derek Rose. At the line. So one for two that time at the strike. And he gets it back. Drives to the hoop. Derek and he Brooks. goes in for the dunk. Assist from. I think he caught the defense napping. Those plays can be soul crushing. To the inside. Hartenstein. I uses the glass to finish the layup. Hartenstein's got six points. And now almost all their points Derek come from the paint. B.A., forget about attempting the long-range three to cut into that lead. Just attack the rim, my man. Man, that was sweet. And here's Covington. Pass to man. Back to Batum. Here he goes. Here's Hartenstein. And that one's good. Nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. Incredible. It sometimes falls to the point guard to be the offensive catalyst. Seems like he always knows when his squad needs a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really oh, emphasized ball movement Chicago here today. Ball. I'll tell you what, they're really fortunate there. Those long bomb passes usually spell disaster, but they get away with one there. A minute 58 left in the third quarter. Back to Rose. Oh, oh and he slams it down. Wow. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Throws into the lane. And a two-handed jam! Oh yeah, that'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Pass to Powell. He can't get it to go. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's Noah. Powell pulls it in. Here's Mann. And the Clippers again with a bucket. Puts it in for two. Here's Rose. And he drives in. Let's see Noah pass the ball. We know he can do that. Always has his head up. Here's Hartenstein. No good with the triple. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him 
that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but they give it to him again. I, I bet three points are coming. In transition, here come the Clippers. And he throws it down with one hand. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so here is Chicago. Down low. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. And he knocks down the first one. line for the Bulls. Carlos Boozer. He's perfect from the line this time. Now Los Angeles with it. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Batum. Three-pointer. Nails it from three. Batum's got six points in the quarter. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. A great job to establish position and square up. That's his first personal foul. There's 10 seconds left in the third. Pass to man. Here's Hartenstein. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers in a good. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. So it's Chicago now. It's a 13 point game to the middle. Here's Thomas. Ooh, solid D from Leonard. Here's George. George dunk contest. Hey, I love to see him get up. And so they foul intentionally. James Smith. I mean, I'm just not that sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. And an important part of every team's game. A look at the hustle stat for the Clippers. Defensively, they've played with a high energy level tonight. And all the steals we've seen are result of that aggressiveness. They've done a terrific job defensively, causing some turnovers. And then cashing in on those, well, that just makes all the difference. Here's Leonard. Here's Zubats. Down to five on the shot clock. And he lays in the alley -oop pass. And the Clippers lead by 18. I didn't think there was a pass available there for Paul George, but he spots that small crease, he fires the ball through it, and he gets it to his open man. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. That's the guy they're going to keep going to, as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. Pass to Rose. And stolen by Leonard. Here's George.